Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to calculate IV flow rate, how to determine if an IV is running ahead or behind schedule, and then how to recalculate flow rate in order to finish the bag on time. I'll walk you through each question step by step to ensure you get full marks on your math tests. Today we'll be using one of the formulas from my Drug Calculation Formulas Worksheet, which I'll place a link to in the video description. If you'd like, you can pause the video here to write out the formulas. Let's jump right into the questions. To start, we are given the following information. 1.5 liters of NS, or normal saline, is to be infused over 12 hours. After 4 hours, there are 800 mils remaining in the IV bag. And the questions are as follows. 1. What is the correct flow rate in mils per hour that the IV should have been set to run at? 2. How many mils should be left in the bag after 4 hours? 3. Is the IV running ahead of schedule or behind schedule? And 4. Recalculate a new flow rate in mils per hour in order to finish the IV bag on time. So starting with question number 1, what is the correct flow rate that the IV should have been set at? For this question, we'll take a quick look at our drug calculation formulas worksheet. The question is looking for flow rate in mils per hour, and we can see that we have a formula to calculate that exactly. Let's write that down. Flow rate in mils per hour is equal to volume in mils divided by time in hours. Right now we have a volume of 1.5 liters and a time of 12 hours. Next we need to convert our volume from liters to milliliters to match with our formula. And to do this, simply multiply 1.5 liters times 1,000 milliliters per liter. This gives us an answer of 1,500 milliliters. Now we can plug our values into our formula. So flow rate in mils per hour is equal to 1,500 milliliters divided by 12 hours. We can divide that out for a final answer of 125 milliliters per hour. And always remember to add the unit at the end to get full marks. So the IV should have been set at 125 milliliters per hour from the start to infuse the total 1500 milliliters in the allotted 12 hours. On to question number two. How many milliliters should be left in the IV bag after four hours? So for this question, we can utilize the flow rate that we just calculated from question number one. We know that for every hour that passes, 125 milliliters should be administered from the bag to the patient. We can use the following formula to look for volume in milliliters that should be administered to the patient after four hours. Volume in milliliters is equal to the flow rate in mils per hour multiplied by the time in hours. So 125 milliliters per hour multiplied by 4 hours gives us an answer of 500 milliliters. Again, this means that 500 milliliters should be administered to the patient after 4 hours. However, this is not exactly the volume that we're looking for. We actually want to know how many mils are left in the bag, not how many mils have been administered. To find out how many mils should be left in the bag, we can take our total starting volume, which is 1500 milliliters, and subtract that by the volume to be administered after 4 hours, the 500 mils that we just calculated. So 1500 mils minus 500 mils gives us an answer of 1000 milliliters. That's how many mils should be left in the bag after 4 hours. Now question number 3 asks, is the IV running ahead of schedule or behind schedule? So what we already know from the question up top is that after 4 hours, there are 800 mils remaining in the IV bag. But what we found out in question number 2 is that there should have been 1000 mils remaining. So some of you might be able to intuitively work out that the IV is running too fast, and so the answer is that the IV is running ahead of schedule. But for a concrete way to know if the IV is running ahead or behind, you can use the following to help. If the actual volume left is less than the volume that should be left, the IV is running ahead. And if the actual volume left is more than the volume that should be left, the IV is running behind. So for us, the actual volume is 800 mils, which is less than the volume that should be left, 1000 mils. So the IV is running ahead of schedule. And lastly, question number four, recalculate a new flow rate in mils per hour in order to finish the IV bag on time. Again, we can use our flow rate formula for this question to calculate mils per hour. 
The only difference here is that we won't be using the total volume and total time, we're going to use the volume that's left over and the time that's left over. Our volume that's left over comes straight from the question, it's the 800 mils remaining in the bag, and our time that's left over will just be the total time minus the time that has already elapsed. So 12 hours minus 4 hours for an answer of 8 hours. Now we can plug those into our formula. So flow rate in mils per hour is equal to 800 mils divided by 8 hours for an answer of 100 mils per hour. That will be the new flow rate in order to finish the bag on time. And that's it for this question. So if this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to do some more nursing math videos, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.